And Jada is just trying to be so fucking therapeutic and uh, zen. Um, Everything will be fine. It'll all blow over. It never even happened. In this dimension, Will Smith, husband of mine, this didn't even happen. It'll all blow. In another universe, which we will be in in 3,000 million light years it, it will all be a thing of the past it won't even be in anyone's memory because we are transcendent like Uh, it's been called the slap heard or seen around the world and I definitely want to go ahead and give my input you know my two cents my my opinion we all got them just so we all got them just like we <laughs> already let me stop trying to be witty but here's the thing I think that Will is a human being who does not care for conflict no matter what roles he's played in movies I don't believe that Will Smith is a controversial conflict type person i don't think he enjoys it but i feel like there are factors that added to this whole moment of him physically assaulting chris brock so i'll start by saying the fact that just just watching it all from the point that chris brock made the initial joke about jada and the gi jane joke will smith was laughing I'm not gonna say he was slapping knees and stuff laughing just cracking up I didn't see that with my eyes I mean if y'all saw anything different definitely point it on out comment comment but he wasn't slapping knees cracking up can't breathe crying tears and everything like that he was laughing and Will has been known to be quite the goofball if you will and so I feel like he was laughing because that's his natural reaction first and foremost and then you know jada had that look on her face oh come on man that's exactly what i that's that's what ran through my mind when i saw jada's reaction to the joke i just heard oh, really oh really come on man really that's the only thing that i heard i didn't hear <gasps> what oh my do you understand the gravity and the depth and the of the situation do you understand what you just did to me what you just said to me do you, do you understand you don't get it when i'm going you don't know what i'm like when she did her little expression on her face i didn't even i didn't feel that in my heart of hearts like when i saw uh, uh will's reaction <laughs> when i saw his reaction he was laughing and quite with it he was quite with the joke shit and i don't know at what point he decides to go up there and do that to chris rock but i feel like he kind of like his natural reaction kicked in you know what he would normally do as a reaction kicked in it kind of like hit him and then he decided to go and do the utmost by going up there and slapping chris rock i don't think that was a natural reaction for will smith i don't think that is like slapping and putting his hands on another person i don't think that was natural i think his initial reaction was natural but i don't know because like the clip that i just looked at it didn't show him looking or glancing over or peeking over at jada but in other reports on the internet they stated that he did catch wind of how jada took the joke and that's when he decided to get up and take action so will baby baby <laughs> it wasn't worth it now you're banned from the oscars and all affiliated screenings and recordings and events for 10 years which i feel like i too feel like that is excessive i watched another 
content creators video and she said you know in comparison to other people who have had worse allegations and proven allegations not just allegations not just alleged but actually proven things that were way worse than what will did in plain sight and plain view have still been allowed to attend these ceremonies if you will and now will smith has to be banned now don't get me wrong i'm not like caping for will smith because i do feel like he did the utmost like i stated he did the utmost he did not have to go up there and put his hands on that man he did not have to go up there and put his hands on him like like i said will has never been known to be like that he's never been known to be like that but then i know there are other things that have gone on not too long ago within his marriage that was publicized and therefore everyone who caught wind of it could scrutinize and all this extra shit and it probably just was him being under a lot of pressure and wanting to be seen as a man doing what he's supposed to do or what he should do for his wife and you know and or his family and everything like that and i get that but like don't you can't and i do want to put this out there too especially when you're older in your age and you're well seasoned in the industry too and you you got a good you got a good amount of comedy and and and, and comedy shows and everything up under your belt you know that they pick on any and everybody then comedians pick on any and everybody so you doing that it just wasn't a good look a it was unnecessary b c it was just a it was just all I, I was gonna say on call for which is basically unnecessary which already so like oh my goodness i just you did not have to go down like that bruh now at the end of the day i do feel like will smith as far as his career you know i feel like he'd be okay he'd be all right i mean it was man on man at the end of the day it's not like he went up there and slapped the hell out of regina hall it's not like he slapped spit out of her mouth you know what I mean? He did it to another man so that, I mean, it's not fair game because Chris Rock really didn't do anything to have that happen to him. He didn't do anything that will require him to be slapped or to have hands put on him at all in the first place. So, yeah, Will, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I grew up watching Fresh Prince. I'm a real fan. I really am. But I feel that you were wrong i feel like you were wrong for slapping chris rock like that it was not warranted it wasn't even i mean it's not like it was an impulse i mean well that i don't want to get into i don't know if it was an impulse or not because i'm not really a psychiatrist or no, nobody that could really break it down to that point whether it was impulsive or because like i said i could tell that he naturally reacted in his natural way but then he started thinking more into it and then he just double back around and he slapped that man it was unnecessary it was uncalled for i feel like if you got to go to those lengths to show your wife that you're capable of protecting her because <laughs> she didn't take it seriously she didn't try to stop you she really hasn't said anything since that incident she's not she doesn't give a shit i'm sorry but it seems like jada pinkett smith does not give a shit i think that jada is so hurt that she couldn't become jada pinkett shakur at the end of the day that she can't really you know like i just don't feel like she's invested in will smith the way that he's invested in her because mind you he did divorce his um ex-wife to get with jada because he felt like he had a stronger connection. So that really was a man out there trying to be with a woman that he could connect with and really, you know, be with and be comfortable with and things of that nature. But it, in the long run, it seems to keep backfiring onto him. And Jada is just trying to be so fucking therapeutic and uh, zen. Um, ooh, Everything will be fine. It'll all blow over. Ooh, it never even happened in this dimension will smith husband of mine this didn't even happen it'll all blow in another universe which we will be in in three thousand million light years it, it will all be a thing of the past it won't even be in anyone's memory because we are transcendent like that's the type of shit that she'd be she'd be on some real dumb shit she'd be on some real unrealistic shit if you ask me so with that being said i think that's all that i really want to say about the situation i wish chris rock the healing that he may need because i heard that he wasn't really a uh, conflict type person either he he steers clear of conflict um 
So if he needs healing, if he's not able to bounce back from that, which I mean, if you can't, I understand because you were on live TV in front of many audience members. So I pray that he goes ahead and gets the help that he needs, if any at all. But um, I, I don't. I don't approve of what Will Smith did and Will, you definitely need to do some healing too because what you did was so out of character. Am I, I mean like, I don't know the man, but look, he's been in the industry for how many decades? He's been in the industry for how many decades and has not physically assaulted anyone outright like he did Chris Rock that night? That's why I say it was out of character, but I don't know the man personally. So maybe it wasn't, I don't know, but it just seemed to be out of character for him so he needs to get some type of fucking help too excuse me he needs to get some type of freaking help too um and jada i'm gonna need you to hop off that imaginary high horse that you i don't why why, why are you i don't even know why she act like that since you didn't elevate in your career or life until you married and got with will smith you couldn't do you probably could have done it with tupac shakur he probably could have done it with Tupac as well. But unfortunately, he was he was gone too soon. He was taken out too soon. So, sis, if that's the case, if you just can't get over that man or can't get over something that you don't really like or vibe with about Will Smith, then you shouldn't be in that situation. You shouldn't be in that predicament. Because you really do seem to be like a gaslighting type person. She seems to be like a brush it over oh let's oh you said this outright to me but i'm gonna sweep it under the rug with my quote unquote half-ass smooth talking like she did with the whole august alcina situation sorry had to bring it up but talking about he needed healing he needed coaching he needed this he needed that he, he was broken he was this so why were you fucking with him you're not a professional why would you mess with august alcina when you after however many conversations it took, I don't know, sis, if you're that enlightened and fucking smart and all that, it shouldn't have taken that many conversations for you to figure out, oh, this man is broken. He needs professional help. And you weren't that professional help. You were just, <laughs> let me not even go there. <laughs> oh, goodness. But I just hate when, I hate when people try to play roles and that's the farthest thing from the case. You know, like you're trying to play this role, but you're the actual opposite type stuff. So y'all, that's it that's all i'm so sorry for chris rock that that had to happen to him he wasn't doing nothing but doing what he has done for years yeah he's not been the greatest person as far as his commentary on women and especially black women but at the end of the day physical assault is a crime it's a crime it's not right it was unnecessary too more than anything it was completely unnecessary so chris rock maybe you should try to like just i don't know what he can do because like i said all of these comedians be roasting everybody everybody and if you ask me i'll be honest the joke was fitting the joke was fitting but nobody i mean I, shit i didn't know i didn't know that she had alopecia i didn't know that she had that and I didn't know it had that big of an impact on her to be, because I don't really watch nothing that Jada, <laughs> last thing I watched of her was the Matrix movie. And I don't even think I got through that movie fully, but I've never really been a fan of Jada. I've never been a fan of her. I don't know. I just, she, the movies that she's played in, yeah, I've seen a lot of them, but they're not like my favorites. So <laughs> I really... I really hate to come off like this. You know, some of y'all might not agree with what I'm saying and that's okay, but he, he should have spared his own image. He should have protected his image. He should have protected his reputation and handled it in a different way. And as for all, not, not, not all of the people who are running up to him, I'm not gonna put it like that, but like Tyler Perry, Denzel Washington. I feel like they saw what I kind of saw too, but I hope that they was telling him in addition to, man, oh my God, th this is not like you. But you should never do that. I hope they was telling him that he was wrong as well as coddling and comforting. I'm not gonna say coddling. I'm gonna say comforting him. But in addition to comforting him or whatever the hell they were doing, I hope that they was letting him know that what he did was wrong and he should never ever do anything like that in the future. Um, and at all, at all. Because the only person who has reaped repercussions for that is you, Will. Jada, they, Jada ain't gotta worry about ish. She's not having a reaper. She can still, they said you, Will Smith. 
they didn't say will and jada cannot do the no they didn't say that you were the only person with consequences so y'all just let me know what y'all think um i'm happy to be doing another video y'all listen i had to take a break from the delusion from the foolery oh my god from the minutia i had to take a break so but you know yeah i'm back and i'm starting with this video i'll go ahead and take a look at jazz g like pray for me y'all because <laughs> like i said it's the, the it's the delusion it's the just Y'all, if, if y'all been watching my content, you already know how I feel about the girl. But I'll see if I can get through a video to make a reaction to it. But this is what I got to say about that whole Slapgate situation. So with that, comment your opinions down below. And I'll be happy to chat with y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.